Good afternoon and welcome to the Lapidary channel. Today I got a kind of an unconventional um, video. It doesn't necessarily pertain to, uh, to Lapidary um, completely, but it does in its own way. Um, what I've done is, uh, this is actually native copper that uh, I just finished processing uh, from Adams County, Pennsylvania. Um, it's a three-step process that I use. Um, of course, this is the final step. And uh, I was just getting ready to wash it off here and uh, reveal what's inside and figured I would make you guys a quick video here. But uh, you can see the before washing. And uh, here I'll show you actually what it looks like here before I clean this stuff up. I'll show you what it looks like before, you know, processing has been done at all. Here's a couple pieces, as you can see, that, uh, that have not been processed whatsoever. And of course, this is what it looks like after the third stage frosting. It takes a few days. Um, it's a lot of work. You, uh, it's all done in a tumbler and then by an abrasion. And um, you need to do it in basically something really heavy duty. You can't use a, uh, a rubber line drum or, or anything like that, or you're just going to tear your liners up. I made that mistake a long time ago and never again. So I actually built this. Uh, this one barrel, I have several of them, and uh, this is made out of a really, really heavy gauge Schedule 40. Uh, it actually cost me quite a bit of money because of the uh, the size of the fittings and stuff. The fittings on that were like $50 a piece, but it's the only thing that I've found so far that actually holds up, you know, to take in such such force and, and such with the uh, the copper because it, it just really beats your, your tumblers up. But uh, without further ado, I'm going to pull this out a little bit and we'll see what we got okay well we got our our shaker table this is actually a um, electric sh shaker table right now I don't need it but uh, if you plug this puppy in it's it's great for when you're you're cleaning rough and and different tumbles because it'll actually shake up and down so it helps really get your tumbling grits out a lot easier um, or just for everyday use when I bring home rough that I've mined um, I throw it on here before I power wash it and it just just that shaking ag agitation action just really helps but uh let's get into the copper and see what we got here oh yeah It's a lot of work, but I'll tell you what, it's it's well worth it when you see just what's underneath this stuff from the uh, outside unprocessed. It's uh, it's unique to itself because it's a uh, Pennsylvania material that's, you know, it's different than Michigan with the host rocks on it, but you just don't see a lot of the copper usually, um, or it's not very well defined without, uh, you know, going through and processing it. And uh, this is a technique that I developed Oh, I would say over the course of the past couple of years at least, um, and just kept refining it till I got it down pat, but it works really well. Some of the pieces you can see have a little bit more matrix on them. Um, you could throw them back in again. Typically, if you throw them back in again and you would just put them on a, a real rough tumble, they're, uh, they're typically ones that are more like copper, you know, big copper nuggets, so they're not going to have a lot of you know, really aesthetic features besides a, a, of a lump. But uh, let's see some of the pieces we got here. Check that out. How cool is that?
just the detail if they're processed right is is still amazing you don't get you get some rounded over effects on them as you can see in here and such but it just really gives a lot of a lot of detail as uh, the process that i use it, it really gets into the the nicks and the little grooves and bugs and such on most of the pieces some of them will still have matrix on them which are unique within themselves but the majority of it like here for instance now that would be if i would put that back in and uh, say just put that back in and even just tumble it. That's more of a, of a solid piece that's gonna end up more as just of a, of a copper nugget. So. It's just amazing the detail in this stuff. Oh, here's a cool piece. Check that out. Now anybody can say that they don't like rocks is beyond me. There you go. Oh, now there's a cool honk. Yeah, there's a piece with uh, has a little bit of calcite left on it and uh, some quartz and um, there's some little bit of green stone in there which is basalt just very cool stuff very aesthetically pleasing awesome Check that out. Okay. Well, I think that about does it. And uh, I'm going to dry these off, actually, before they start oxidizing. Otherwise, I'll have to put them in an acid bath to brighten them up. But if I can dry them real quick, they, uh, they'll stay nice and bright and shiny. And then they're going to stored properly until I sell them. There. So there we go. And that took about three days. Um, like I said, roughly, it's, it's a three-step uh, three process that I use. And uh, well worth it.